All right, I'm really, I'm really interested in seeing what you guys are saying is holiday shit. So let's see if you guys have what it takes to discern what the fuck it means for the holiday season. Welcome to the amazing digital circus! <laughs> My name is Kane, I'm your ringmaster, and I'm I'm already! The what the fuck am I watching? The mind bending paraphernalia you've ever laid your eyes upon! I. <laughs> I know what I know what this is. Isn't that right, Bubble? That's right, Kane! I can't wait to see what you've got cooking up for today! Well, let's not waste any time! Let's get right into the show! Every time I see this thing, I can only think of Kudo now. God damn it! <laughs> I can only okay, see Kudo is now. This one of your NPCs, or is this a new sucker? Because if it's a new character, we're going to have to redo this whole theme song. I'm not doing that again. Oh my, my! It appears a new human has entered this realm! Oh yeah, I'm practicing for my idol show! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> How do I take this headset off? Just keep grabbing at it. That works for all of us. <laughs> What's going on? I put on some weird headset and now I'm here. Uh oh. Who are you people? Why can't I take it off? Where am I? Let's just try to calm down. Everything's gonna be okay. Oh no. We've all been through this. Oh god, wait a minute. Didn't we talk about something like this? About like per being a per permanently stuck in your avatar? Oh shit, bro, that sucks, man. That sucks. You put on a headset and you're, <laughs> you're this fucking doll thing. You just need to get your head. What the hell is going on? What? No, 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 my dear. We can't have any of that foul language around here. The amazing digital circus is a place to be enjoyed by all ages. You, my friend, stumbled into you an incredible world of wonders where anything can happen, e except for swearing. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, well, I would fucking die. Why, you know, leave? Uh. Well, well, don't freak out about it or anything, but uh we don't exactly You can't. What? Shut up, Jax. But yeah, he's right. Welcome to your new home. Oh my Maybe. god. Oh my god, you enter this digital world and you're this thing? What What even is that? It's like a geometry project. What the f***? <gasps> a, a new home? What do you mean? Guys, don't be mean. We've been stuck here for years. Old Kinger over there supposedly been here the longest. Oh, did someone say something about an insect collection? That's why he's crazy. <laughs> eh. Why do I feel like everybody on the internet is gonna make, like, the most, like, Tumblr sexy man art of that f***ing rabbit? Oh, okay, now! Already? I, <laughs> I fucking knew it! Dream. I fucking I just knew it! Play along until I wake up, right? You just already know, you already know which characters are gonna be, like, the most lusted over characters, bro. The second... I already knew. I was like, bro, people are gonna fucking go crazy over that damn rabbit, man. Whatever you say, kid. They broke my comedy mask. 
So, Kane, we having a new adventure today for the newbie oh, or no, what? His I'd like to give mask. our brand new member a tour of the circus grounds. Not his comedy mask! <laughs> Off we go! Here we have the tent! This is where your living quarters are, as well as all sorts of other activities. These activities may include... Ball pits, mini golf, and more! And here we have the grounds! Drown yourself in the digital lake or engage in ridery at the oh digital carnival! Oh my god, carnival. they're trapped! Right, day, it's all okay. The choice is yours, a cosmic buffet! Uh, is that all there is? Of course not! This is the void! We don't venture out into the void. Oh shit, that's where I want to go. That's a... We stay right here, where I can keep my hundreds of all-seeing eyes on you. Hello, Kane. I love you. Ah! What the f- Out of here before the moon gets frisky. Oh my god, the moon Wait, is horny. What's that? Horny ass moon. <laughs> Ew! Well, clean up on aisle you! I'm on it, boss! Why are you like this? Wait, wait! Was that an exit door I saw out there? Is that a way to leave? Ew! What exit? If there was a way to leave, I'm pretty sure we'd have all left by now. Yeah, what are you talking about? Uh, uh, I, <clears throat> I assure you, there is no magical exit door. You're probably just experiencing digital hallucinations from your mind's transition to the digital plane. But, oh, I swear I saw Digital hallucinations! What the f? We're freak. Uh -oh. How about we talk about something else? I don't trust else? that mouth guy. What's your name? My name? Uh, my name is. Uh, uh. Oh God! Why can't I remember my name? Nobody can remember their name once they enter the digital circus. One of the few things I don't have control over are your minds. So all I can help you with is coming up with a new one. Uh, what's my name? Don't you worry your little head. Your new name can be anything. Hereby acknowledging that your choice name and your names may not reach the digital circus user license agreement, stating that your name may not include objectionable content. Objectionable content includes but is not limited to sexually explicit materials, obscene, defamatory, libelous, slanderous, violent, and or unlawful content or profanity. What are you thinking? Huh. I don't care. Just pick the thing. Let's see. Oh, no, no, don't. What do you think of... <laughs> You're right. Terrible. Let's try that again. What do you think of Pomni? Uh, sure. Pomni! I think I just... Dad Zooks, you're right, Jax! We should have a brand new adventure for our new member, Pomni! I said that like five minutes ago. You! <laughs> Do you like adventure? Activity? Wonder? Danger? Horror? Pain? Suffering? Pain? Death? Disease? Death? Angel food cake? Ow! You parasite! Uh, I don't really... Since you're new around here, we're gonna make Bro, it a simple... Bro, I, I will go crazy with this guy fucking screaming at me all the time. Here. What? No, God. I don't want an in-house adventure. Don't worry, Zubal. I'll make it something unobtrusive that you can still choose to not get involved with. Today's adventure is... Gather the gloinks! <laughs> That's right! The entire circus tent will be infested with gloinks! And the you gotta catch them all! What are they? I'm glad you asked, Bubble. They're small... And what do they do? They... And how do they... Gloinks are small, mischievous critters that steal anything and everything they run into. Why do these humanoid hash browns do this? How do you stop them? That's for you Wait, to find out. Wait, are the gloinks now, people? Now, good luck and have fun, my little superstars. Are the gloinks people? Jesus. What did any of that mean? Oh, that's just one of Kane's little adventures. They're just something fun to do to, you know, prevent us from going insane. <laughs> Speak for yourself. If anyone needs me, then f*** off. Oh god, oh please no! Oh no. Not the glowing Oh no, they killed Zubal. Anyway, you guys wanna go get something to eat? Oh wait, we should go check on Kofmo. I'm pretty sure he'd like to meet Pony. My impenetrable fortress! You wanna Technically, come with there us might have been people Kofmo? to be- What? No. Not really. I think kofmo has gone insane. Last time I spoke with him, he was rambling endlessly about some exit. Kind of like you, Pomni. You might be going insane, too. But wait, wouldn't that more likely mean the exit does exist? 
could also mean you just have a jump start in losing your mind. Well, I think... I'd Is nobody like gonna to help the geometry it. homework? Uh, if this was real, which it isn't, because it's a dream. <laughs> she still thinks this is a dream. Oh no, not the uh, oh god, not the DreamWorks smile. Oh god, oh god, they're gonna draw so much porn on this guy. No, you like that? I'm fine with uh, that. As long as I get to see funny things happen to people. Okay, I've already had enough of these things. Dear God. You, me and Pomni will go check on Kafmo. Which leaves Crybaby and Hoo-Ha together to go handle the Zoopla His situation. name is Hoo-Ha? <laughs> do you think pairing them up he together call is them a good Hoo -Ha? idea? Of course I do. They're the two most mentally stable and capable characters to be paired together. Come on, ladies. Let's go harass the clown. Oh my, my god. My comedy mask is broken again. Ah! Oh! Gangle, you startled me. So, this is where we all live. Or, well, where we all sleep at night. Even though we don't really need to sleep, it's Wait, sometimes nice what are the to doors with the X's on them? And have a bit of a routine, you know? I'm sure there will be one for... Oh, look, you already got one. I still don't understand. About the adventures, why do you go on them at all? Why not try to find a way to leave? Well, we usually do when we first arrive, but after a while you start to realize that you really can't leave and constantly chasing an unattainable goal will start driving you a bit crazy. And eventually you get to asking what the point of anything is and you completely lose sight of who you are and why you're even alive. And when you reach your breaking point, something really terrible can happen. Uh, but that's not something we need to deal with today. Above anything else, the adventures give us something to do that keeps our minds healthy and stimulated. Wow, Thank she's goodness, crazy. This is all a dream, right, Pomni? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that is such kudo again? energy. What, what the fuck? We're getting one of our friends. Who the fuck is that? Huh. Maybe he's not in his room? I hope he's all right. Don't worry, dollface. I've got a key to his room. Whoa, uh, wait, whoa, why? You, you, you shouldn't have keys to anyone's room. Nah, I've got keys everywhere, and you've all been fine. By what? the way, I may have left something in your room today, so let me know if you find it. Uh, you're not afraid of centipedes, are you? Jax! That's literally my only fear. Why would you do this? What? It could be a completely unrelated question. You'll never know until it's too late. Oh, God. I've been looking for this. Thanks for keeping an eye on it, Coffee. I'm gonna head out. See ya. Oh! coffee has been obstructed. That, that's okay. What is that? Uh, it might be that terrible thing I was talking about earlier. What does that Maybe mean? It's your breaking point. Huh? Okay, wait. Maybe there's still time to fix them before we get Kane. <laughs> oh, whoa! Coffee! Listen! I know we didn't always get along, like when you called me out for fake laughing at your jokes. I swear I really did think they were funny. I was just having a bit of a bad day! Hey, Pommy! Thank you! Help me out here! I understand you don't want to go! You little <laughs> Holy shit. Is her hand going to be like that forever? Oh, oh no. <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking at here. We saw Gloink carry one of Zubel's pieces down there, remember? Oh my oh, god, yeah. they're fapping hand. Boy, we're not very good at this, are we? What are they doing down there? Oh. Yo, this place is fucked. 
<sighs> oh, sup, oh, fellas? Jax! We found the Zubo hole. Cool. <sighs> How is Kofmo doing? I hope he's not still mad at me for not laughing at his jokes. Oh, he's doing great. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen him this happy before. Uh-oh. It's good to know he hasn't completely lost his mind. He actually asked me to give you this. Whoa! What the fuck? Was your name right? Hey, look. I'm. I didn't mean to leave you behind like that. I just look at my hand. I. I didn't know what to do. It, it, it's okay. What you need to do right now is find Kane. He'll be able to fix me up and take care of. Okay, but where can I find <laughs> She literally said sorry and ran away. Uh, okay, I'll get him. You just stay Yo, right there. Yo, this is Not fucked. that you can really move or anything. Uh, just hang in there. I'll be right back. I promise. Cool. Oh, so funny. I'm sorry. Your, your first day here had to be so... Terrible. Uh, yeah, well, don't worry about it. I'm just gonna go get Kane now. Hello? Kane? We have a bit of an issue here! Is he even gonna be around? Uh oh. What the f? Jesus, so many bright colors. My f***ing retinas. What? what the f***? Kane? Uh-oh. in the nest of the Glunk Queen! Oh, is that who you are? You know, you could have asked for my consent before forcing me to see something so completely and utterly disgusting. <laughs> oh, oh God! A rabbit one that runs its mouth in the presence of my royal figure! Well, as a royal myself, I would like to kindly ask if... Oh, look, there's Zubal! Hi, Zubal! Ah, uh, help me, you idiots! Kinda rude, Zubal. Now I don't want to help you. No, oh, I always lose. Yes! Aww. Gotcha! Oh. Hey! Hey, are you, mother... <laughs> eh, I'll be fine. What the... F <laughs> Man, she's losing it. She's losing it. It's a barrel of monkeys. God, where is Kane? 
怖かった。Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, she's in the back rooms. What? You foolish assortment of colorful characters! Do you not realize that everything must be Gloinks? I am Gloinks. You will be Gloinks. God will be Gloinks. This is dumb and weird. Well, but, uh, even yet, you're still watching it. I'm not here for the adventure or anything. I'm just here to hide from the. Uh oh. Oh, thank God you're okay. You didn't experience a game show in there, did you? Uh, I. What are you talking about? <laughs> It's just Cosmo. Don't worry about it. Cosmo abstracted? Nah, he's fine. You're right. How are we gonna get out of here? Uh oh. Guys, over there. Oh shit! There's an escalator. Ladies first. No, wait. Why would I say that? <laughs> oh my god! What a fucking dick! Wait, Pummy's not even here. Wasn't this whole thing for her? Be quiet. I can't hear the escalator. Jeez! What a dick! Oh my god, is, is she gonna be passing through the doors forever? No wonder the other guy went crazy! Oh, Stanley. Oh, no! She's in the Stanley Parabola, Baba! Know how to Yo, make that's me, me. Say this exact after bedtime. Yes, I'm alert on my wacky watch at this hour. Oh, shit. no, someone's venturing out into the void. They'll get totally spoiled. <gasps> there you go. Now, what the heck happened around here? Oh, yeah, my doing. Kane! Kafmo went through a sort of Kafmosis and abstracted! Kafmo abstracted? Why didn't anybody tell me? <laughs> and into the cellar you go! 
Man. What? I can't believe Kofmo just gave up like that. I mean, no offense, Kinger, but I always thought you would be next. Thank you. Guess it just goes to show you can't rely on Kinger for anything. I am in so much pain! Oh my god, they can feel pain. Oh, awkward. I do have to apologize so awkward. for the uh. exit. I knew how much all of you have been wanting there to be one, but, you know, I was having so much trouble figuring out what to put on the other side and ended up never quite finishing it. And you know how I never like letting people see my unfinished work. Oh, no. Especially if it leads you out into the void. Anyway, looks like you defeated the Gloit Queen, so I guess the adventure's over. Your reward is a delicious digital feast cooked by our head bubble chef. Made with all the love I'm legally allowed to give. You know, I am pretty hungry. You didn't even do anything. So what? I can still be hungry. Well, not really, because we don't need to eat, drink, or sleep in this digital world. So the digital food here only gives off the virtual sensation of eating without any of the nutritional benefits. Sheesh, lay off it. Since when are you an expert on the digital world? Expert what? On what? They can't even eat! Wait a minute, wait a minute. So, wait, hold on. Did she get out or what? No, no, no. I don't mean, I don't mean, did she get out and stay out? I mean, was she able to make it out since that was the outside of the void? But she just went back in. Oh my god! What? I want- I want to know more! What the f***? I'm so confused! Guys, I'm gonna have to watch a MatPat video and I don't want to! <laughs> I'm gonna have to watch a dirty MatPat video and I don't want to f***ing watch it! It's right there! <laughs> There is no escape. Ever. Oh god. I can't ever escape you, my pet, please! Hello, Internet! Ah! Welcome to Film ah! Theory, the show that'll be theorizing day after day after ah! day after day after day, and we don't know why. Let's talk about the amazing digital circus, shall we? You, my friend, stumbled into an incredible world of wonders where anything can happen, except for swearing. Oh my god. In case you aren't caught up with this one, this is the latest series from the creative geniuses over at Glitch Productions. This one was written, produced, and directed by Gooseworks, a talented artist who also composed music for both Has Been Hotel and Hell of a Boss. Kind of and their creativity and experience door, really come through with this what one. To put it on the other side. Somewhere in all the looping rooms he made was one room that might have been based on something real, but she was still in the digital circus. <laughs> I gotta say, you guys went crazy recommending this one to us across comments, GT Live, and our subreddit. And it's pretty darn easy to see why. Between the amazing animation, gifable moments, and incredible cast of characters, and a storyline wrapped up in like 18 different layers of mystery, this is the perfect show for us to dive into. Which means that if you haven't watched the first full episode yet, go do it. Watch it after this theory. Though I'd be surprised if you hadn't, because this thing already has like 30 million views across the platform. It is doing mighty well for itself. But just so we're all on the same page for today's theory, 
series, the pilot follows a woman named Pomni, who's thrust into a strange digital world oh, styled after a circus, alongside five other humans. Jax, the lovable jerk, Ragatha, the sweet optimist, Gangle, who can't hide her emotions, Zubal, who's made out of a bunch of random objects, and Kinger, who's been trapped there the longest and has gone kind of crazy as a result. The Poor whole Kinger. circus is run by a ringleader named Kane, who according to the show's website is a quote, wacky AI, and all of the humans are just subject to his every women desire. God sooks you right, Jax! We should have a brand new adventure for our He's an AI! Party. Oh god! Like guys, guys, AI, AI, they're, they're after us, guys! They're after us! Ah! Ago. However, the humans don't necessarily want to go on these adventures, and they're constantly trying to find ways of getting out. This has even driven some of them insane, leaving them abstracted, where they devolve into monsters. Case in point, the clown Kofmo was obsessed with finding the exit, and abstracts just before Pomni shows up. Oh, Kofmo's been abstracted. It's okay. What? Is that abstract? And yet, even when Pomni does get herself to the exit in this pilot episode, it doesn't go anywhere. It's just endless hallways and office All spaces. All these are AI. Is basically that's not my, that's not out, what Kane my butthole says. Exit, hoping to give the humans what they wanted, just didn't know what to put on the other side. I do have to apologize for lying about the exit. I was having so much trouble figuring out what to put on the other side, and ended up never quite. Finishing it. And more or less, that's where we leave the <laughs> colorful cast of the amazing digital circus after this first episode. Now, already there's just so much world building here for us to dig into. So many questions posed that we want the answers to. Like, who's behind the amazing digital circus? Is there an actual way out, or are they just trapped forever? Are characters like Kofmo really gone, or can they be brought back in some way? And, uh, sorry to say, I don't have a whole lot of answers for those things. Not yet. Why? Why am I watching your video? Goose works packed into the first episode, they've done the wise thing and not given us a whole lot of answers. But I do uh, think they've given us plenty here to theorize about. Bro, so, yeah. <laughs> that abstracting, the abstracting monster, that's me after playing Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Our three amazing digital circus <laughs> theories. Don't run for the exit doors yet, my friends. We're going in. Let's start things off a bit small scale here. Theory number one, everything in the show is literally a video game set in the late 1990s. Now, there's a lot in just this one episode that paints this as a video game world. For example, right at the beginning, we see a pixelated title card for the show that's obviously in the style of old school PC PlayStation Wow, and PlayStation 1 This graphics. is further driven home in a secret video that you can find if you go to wackywatch.com. Wait, the what? URL shown on screen during the episode, which shows us the main menu You can for actually go there? We also see a flower pot fall to the ground and clip into it, kind of like <gasps> an old school source back engine rooms. glitch. Kane mentions that he created the digital world in the weird back room's office area in a way that's very similar to how a game developer would create world spaces. Plus, when Pomni first enters the world, she says this. I put on some weird headset and now I'm here. Again, directly implying that oh, the whole shit. thing is a game. She put on a VR headset and was transported into the world Oh no, I'm never All going into VR out, chat again! Pretty darn obvious to the casual viewer. But what you might have missed is the fact that this is set in the late 1990s and not the present day, like you might expect from something talking oh, wait, about set using in the 90s? VR headsets. How and there is know? a lot of circles. Wait, how did he know it was set in the 90s? What the f***? It was set in the 90s? Well, what the f*** do I know? <laughs> He's a... Let him explain it. Substantial evidence that points us to this conclusion. First of all, basically all the tech that we see throughout the series seems to be pulling straight from the 90s. Anytime we see a computer in the show, it's always the white boxy styled CRT monitors and large white computer towers reminiscent of models made by companies like Dell and Gateway back in the 90s and early 2000s. And this is both in the actual episode and in the off-site material as well. In that same Wacky Watch commercial, we see a real-life computer with the same old-school design. What's more, the beginning of this Wacky Watch video says that this was an old tape recovered on a date that's censored. And given the degradation oh, on that tape, censored. it implies that not only is this video old, but it was also recovered in the past as well. But this goes beyond just the tech that's used in the series. Many of the characters and iconography from the show are very reminiscent of popular characters and ideas from the late 90s and early 2000s. Pomni's jester design takes a lot of cues from Sega's old Knights into Dream Oh shit! Series. Jax shares design inspiration and a similar name with Max oh, the Rabbit from the Sam and Max games. Bubble clearly takes cues from Super Mario's Chain Chomp. Oh, Jax shit. and Gangle were both inspired by characters like Poppy the Performer, an old what Japanese the... 3D animated series. While Kane and the Digital Circus setup is very reminiscent of the villain and plot of I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream, a short story by Harlan Ellison adapted into- Oh, sh <laughs> I bought that. I bought that game. <laughs> I saw that it was on sale on Steam and I bought it and I'm like, man, I want to play that one day. <laughs> 
a point and click adventure game in 1995. Any way you slice it, it's very clear that the creators bought the show to have the same 90s vibe that we're all Yeah, I bought I bought the game. But you might be thinking, hold on, they're talking about VR headsets here. That's a modern I read the description. I looked pretty interesting. by the 1990s rather than set in the 1990s? That's a pretty good call out. A lot of advances in virtual reality technology have only been made across the last decade, especially when you're talking about gaming. That doesn't mean that VR technology didn't exist back in the 1990s. And I'm not just talking about the rudimentary black and red wireframes of the Virtual Boy either. Back in 1991, Sega announced the Virtual Sega VR. Boy? In 1993, Virtuality created the Mega Visor Display. Holy and in 1995, shit, that looks like... Technology hit us with the VFX1 headset. Holy shit, that's like and VR troopers! The old footage of all these things, it doesn't look too dissimilar to the sort of world that we see in the amazing digital circus. Simple flat textures, rudimentary shapes and polygons. There's not a lot of detail here, but that's for good reason. These headsets, they couldn't handle a lot of detail. True story, I actually have some first-hand experience. Oh my god, that guy has <laughs> headsets. The Holy Great Lakes shit. Science Center. How the f did he keep that shit on his head? Sorry, I actually have some first-hand experience with these rudimentary headsets. The Great Lakes Science Center in Cleveland, Ohio actually had a special exhibit on VR technology in its basement when I was a kid, and it blew my mind. With the amount of wires and cables these things took to run, it felt like you were jacking into the Matrix, and you had to wait 45 jacking minutes to put on huh? one of these headsets, but he all of a sudden you were dropped in. into a video game. It was simple. I was mm -hmm. walking through a purple field with a bunch of green triangular mountains in the background, but it was effective, and it captured my imagination <laughs> for decades in. since. So much so that even though it was a five-minute experience that happened in my life like two decades ago, I still remember it vividly to this very day. Damn. Anyway, Mad Pat childhood stories aside, the long and short of all of this, everything that we see in the series is pointing to this taking place in the past and not in the present. All of this has already happened from our perspective. We're just watching the events of the game unfold. So now that we know that we're in a 1990s video game here, let's dig a bit deeper, shall we? Theory number two, Pomni helped create this hell simulation that they're currently stuck in. It's a pretty bold claim, so what, what? would make you say that? Well, a couple of things. Firstly, one of the scenes that really jumped out to me while I was watching and re-watching the pilot was the sequence where Pomni's running through the back rooms on the other side of the exit door. At one point, she enters a more traditional looking office space with computers and cubicles before stopping and staring at one desk in particular. This is played as a big moment. We linger on this shot for a long time as a classic horror-esque dolly zoom hits both the desk and Pomni before she has herself a psychological break. The lights start to flicker and she cackles uncomfortably before running on. The whole thing is really menacing and off-putting and clearly meant to leave us with a big impression. Why? Well, because this desk isn't just some simulation that Kane cooked up in the back rooms. It's based on a real place in the real world of this universe outside of the simulation. A place that we actually see in the episode. At the very end, right before the credits roll, we zoom out of the circus and through the void, revealing that all of this has been taking place inside of a computer. That makes sense. We've already established that this right here is a big old simulation. But take a look oh at the God. computer and the desk. It's the exact same setup that we saw earlier in the episode in the back room section. The same old equipment on the left, the same file cabinets on the right, the same retro monitor and keyboard and computer tower and speakers, the same VR our headset and headphones. This is exactly the same, but clearly this one's in the real world. Not only have we literally zoomed out of the computer, implying that we're no longer in said simulation, but the lighting in the scene is much more natural. It's warmer. Sunlight is streaming through the nearby window, all at an angle because the sun's oh in the sky. This is not the flat computer simulation lighting that we've been seeing throughout the rest of the episode. That right there, the desk and computer setup existing both in the simulation and in the real world is already a pretty interesting point, but why then would it break Pomni? What causes her to go off the deep end and start laughing. Well, I think that subconsciously, Pomni recognizes that this, this is her desk. At the beginning of the oh, episode, no. they make it clear that Pomni has lost her human memories. But this, I believe, is triggering a deep realization inside of her. Based on what we're given here, I believe that Pomni's human persona is an employee at CNA, the company developing the digital Cock circus game ass. VR headset. And seeing it here inside the game unlocks some weird flash of her memory as to what's happening to get her into this situation. She's trapped in the very game that she helped to create. <laughs> it's ironic, hence why she laughs. It's funny. It's darkly funny. I can see this being a huge reveal down the line, and one that could be potentially devastating for all the rest of our characters. For Pomni, obviously, but also for all the other characters who are trapped in here who would be seeing her as the one to blame for their current imprisonment. Also, real quick super short micro theory, I don't think we have enough information to figure out what the initials in the company named C and A stand for, but one possibility that did jump out to me, it could potentially stand for Kane and Abel, partially named after the AI ringleader of the simulation Kane.
Kane, which could then lead itself to a lot of interesting story Open possibilities. Eyes. You see, Cain and Abel are a pair of brothers who are the sons of Adam and Eve, with Cain ultimately killing his brother and creating the first ever murder in the world. Anyway, you know how we love ourselves a good biblical reference here, and I just wanted to mention it in case we get more clues in future episodes. But something we do have more than enough to say about, theory number three, all the characters aren't actually humans trapped inside the digital circus. Instead, they're all digital copies of the brains of humans who've put on these headsets, cloned and then forced into the simulation. Now this is a pretty big swing. I mean, oh, Pomni's no, first like line of the series shit. is practically, oh no, I'm a human who put on a headset and now I'm trapped here. And then Cain follows it up with this. My my, it appears a new human has entered this realm. Human, he calls her a human. And that actually lines up with what we've seen with the official synopsis, explicitly calling Pomni and the others humans, in contrast to Cain being an AI. Quote from that synopsis, a woman gets trapped in a crazy virtual world along with five other humans and are now subject to the whims of wacky AI and their own personal traumas. Plus, I just personally like the image of a bunch of people strapped into these VR headsets a la Sword Art Online. But all of that being said, I believe that there's a lot of evidence pointing towards these characters being computerized clones rather than actual humans. For instance, as I mentioned above, Pomni starts going a bit crazy when she sees her desk She's from the real it. world in the circus's back rooms. But think, what was actually on that desk? A headset. Pretty clearly a headset that is not on any human's head. And that's not just a thing in the simulation, it's also on the desk in the real world too that we see in the final shot of the pilot. If there's a human trapped in the digital circus here with a headset firmly planted on their head that they can't get off, shouldn't they, you know, be stuck there with the headset on their head? Given the little that we have to go off of right now, it makes more sense that Pomni put on the headset, had her consciousness copied into the game, and then she just took off the headset to go home. Meanwhile, Pomni in the game can't take it off because she's not a flesh and blood human anymore. She's a oh, digital no. copy whose memories begin they black the moment mirrored the headset her. was put on. And even if we're wrong and this desk isn't Pomni's, all the other characters went through this exact same process when they first joined, as Jax hinted at when he sarcastically said, How do I take this headset off? Just keep grabbing at it. That works for all of us. They all tried the exact same thing, and it didn't work for any of them. They're all digital copies grasping at a oh, VR no. headset that isn't there anymore. But you know the thing that really convinced me of this theory? The mannequins. Yeah, did you notice these guys? All throughout the episode, we see several artist mannequins populating the circus. You know, these are the things that artists will sometimes buy to help them get references for poses. Most prominently, we see them in the restaurant with Kane and Bubble acting as background characters. But why would they matter? Well, we know that Kane can create NPCs. Kane. Kane, is this one of your NPCs or is this a new sucker? So maybe these mannequins are just random nameless characters that Kane made up to fill in the circus. Maybe, but that oh, just no. doesn't sit right with me. First off, the dolls are clearly capable of emotions. We see one get upset when Pomni interrupts it taking a bath, silently screaming at Pomni until she slams the door. There's something more going on here than just these things being background extras. Take a look at this. When Ragatha is showing Pomni to her room, there are several other doors for other characters in the, the background. Doors. This is actually a great piece of world building. We see that each of the current characters have themselves their own rooms, as well as several other characters that we haven't met yet. There's this colorful one that I can't quite make out, what looks to be a pinkish purple goo monster, some sort of cute doggo, green and orange anteater looking guy, a black queen chess piece that I'm gonna guess is named Queenie, seems to be Kinger's counterpart, implying that he didn't come into the simulation alone. Regardless, all of these portraits have uh -oh. giant red X's over them, and that checks out. These are likely characters that have abstracted in the past, just like Kofmo did. We even see other abstracted creatures in oh, the cellar no. when Kane banishes cough mode. Anyway, along with these past and current characters, we also see several doors with blank mannequins on them. Not just one, but multiple doors. If I had to guess what's going on here, when a new human enters the game, these rooms transform into one that's appropriate for them, and the mannequin on the door transforms into their character. And what's more, I believe that there's a mannequin in the game that also transforms into that character. Right now, they're placeholders, but they get molded into these human copies whenever someone new puts on the headset, and their brain gets scanned oh, into the system. That would fit thematically with the idea of the mannequins to begin with. They're supposed to be used as references and then turned into something real when you're using them for your artwork. That would also fit with the fact that they're on the doors of all these empty rooms and the characters being scanned clones of human brains would fit the fact that they can't take off their headsets despite us seeing a headset not being worn at a desk that is clearly meant to be Pomni's. It just all fits with what we've seen from the series so far. In short, the series is gaslighting us. It isn't about Stop a bunch of trapped in a simulation. It's about a bunch of human consciousnesses that have been 
been scanned into an AI system and then mapped onto blank mannequin bodies, where the computer can then simulate their human behavior and push their buttons to the breaking point, learning the weaknesses of the human psyche. And then, when they've had too much and abstract out of the system, well then you just boot up another new simulation and try again. There is no exit door, just an endless loop of torturous tests run by oh Kane God. as he tries to understand the human experience. Just like a real circus, all of it is just a big performance. But hey, you know a character in the show that I think is criminally underrated? Bubbles! This adorable little bubble doggo seems like they're willing to eat just about anything, but I know for a fact that they would absolutely love the food from the sponsor of today's episode, Sunday's Dog Food. If you follow the channel for Sunday's a while, you'll know that I've- Dog food? This is an ad for dog food. I don't even have a dog. Oh my god, sorry, my nose started bleeding. <laughs> my nose started My nose started bleeding. Must have been that digital rabbit guy. Oh god. Alright, this is not a holiday video, but I enjoyed my time. But it's not a holiday video. And that made me feel holiday. But good job. But no sub for you. Who <laughs>